strange. The energy of our region is shifting dramatically. I don't know what this means. But like it or not, all of us must be aware of it. Hello. Long time no see. Speak of the devil. Well, well, well. If it isn't the destruction moron himself. What are you doing here, Selkadoom? You know I am here. Actually, you don't. <laughs> While I was imagining and doing a lot of arts in my mind how people are suffering by my hands, <laughs> see, in this region of the multiverse, a few things have been changing. Have hmm. you noticed it? Not as of late, but <laughs> you telling me does make me worried. Is there any other reason why you're here? <gasps> well, there is a lot of things, but I prefer that we discuss in our area together. <sighs> why do you wish to now, Silkadoom? I was hoping to just enjoy a moment of peace. I was also supposed to go on a date with my fiancé. But these are more pressing matters as he is not ready yet. Oh, don't make that face, Selkadoom. I know what you're thinking. That faker. That moron of an insect. Ugh. Come on. You know you could have someone far superior. <sighs> Save it. Why? Because, unlike you, I am loyal. Don't look at me like that. <sighs> Your great dishes speeches always make me nauseous. I always think about the good when it comes to those meddling worms. Uh, the nerve you have to insult the people of this planet when you were no better at first and clawed your way into a position that you don't deserve and now I am forced to share amongst you. Don't deserve. Did you really just say that? You're talking about a creation that was created for the sole purpose of trying to help someone's Egotistical goals, but then I ascended far beyond that. You didn't ascend. You have killed and hurt and did disgraceful things. But now I am forced to stand beside you. And it's disgusting. For you. For me. I find it quite exhilarating. <laughs> The nerve you have! And like it or not, I have to see your face every time you wish to come to this plane! <sighs> we could discuss more, but I think it's best if we go to the area and we can talk properly about this. Today I refuse. I do not wish to converse with you, Selkadoom. Now please, leave me be. I wish to meditate. On my own. Uh... To call, you fail to realize that you and I are uh, both different sides of the same coin. But peace cannot live without destruction. So, for the sake of my own mental sanity, about these worms. So, my suggestion is let me in. Fine. But it makes my stomach churn. Well, don't be like that. Can you blame me? 
the fact that you have access to all these areas and you have everyone fearing you, it makes my my mind clutter and I hate it. I enjoy it. <laughs> Bashing someone's skull to the ground, seeing the light drain from their eyes oh! and have that mental image in my head and always have that artwork that I made before I give them a ticket all exclusive paid to their own maker <laughs> makes me feel alive <laughs> you making those murals of your future victims desiring to use art to design the demise of all your enemies or in this case all these innocent people <sighs> well if you claim to be so powerful and crave so much destruction why haven't you done anything already riddle me that i could have done that but what would the fun be in just destroying everything that easily <laughs> i like to think things very slowly so that i can enjoy the moments where the light flashes before their eyes <laughs> and then they lose all hope <laughs> and then when they lose all the hope I'll set them free give them a one way ticket to oblivion <laughs> uh, well I am a god so Show them. How dare you! Ah, oh, your ramblings are disgusting to me. Peace is the ultimate way of pure enjoyment. Why peace. can't peace be the way for everyone? It's shameful that everyone looks to oblivion and apocalyptic thoughts. Ah, oh, you're clouding my head, Selkadoom. It's appalling. Can't think straight. Uh, I quite enjoy that. After all, your little peace speeches that you say and do all the freaking time just put me to sleep. Huh. M makes me want to claw my ears out. Feelings mutual. But I tolerate them. Despite that they make me nauseous. Every like it single time. Annoying, isn't it? Now you understand how I feel when you ramble on about killing. And wiping out planets and all that stuff. You revel in destruction. And every mural you make, detailing what you wish to do to people, sickens me. Oh! But the fact that we are on the same spectrum... Hurts me to my core. I can feel you staring at me. Stop eyeing me like that! Oh, You're disturbing. Oh. But like it or not... Enjoy those moments of uneasiness coming from you. <laughs> like it or not, we have to sink ourselves so we can try to understand what this shift in the multiverse could be. Our region is minuscule amongst the many others. <sighs> Any higher ups must be notified through us. Well, Tell the higher-ups and tell those manly insects about what's going to happen. As much as I don't like it. I know. Though everything seems fine. I see them. Full of life. It would be a shame if something happened to them. Not the time, Selkadoom! Focus! I do see that... You 
these planets, these other worlds. They seem fine, but the energy is different. I feel like... Energy. Huh? Selkatum, don't play dumb. All I know is that at some point, things are going to shift. And my visions are blurry, but all I see is stars and planets representing the other worlds around us. For now, everything is safe. And I intend to keep it that way. <sighs> Pretty unsatisfying, isn't it? For you, at least. Knowing that everything in the multiverse is fine. Our region will continue to prosper and be fine. No matter what you do. Oh, I know, it's terrifying, I know that peace and tranquility and positivity will always reign supreme and that everyone's faith in each other, but... How dare you! I don't gag at your ramblings! You just continuously talk about peace, love, and everything and what kind of love, praying, eating bull is this? Bull! It just makes me nauseous. Everything that I speak of makes you nauseous. Every higher deity on this planet or in this region of the multiverse or in this very area. Some of them do share similar thoughts like you. But you love leaning more towards the darkness. To think you started as a lowly creation of the doctor. And now here you are. And this is coming from someone who's accepting of many, if not all. But I don't like people who cheat and lie and hurt. I've been through that before. Hm. Why would I live in mediocrity when I can be something far more greater? They're innocent people, Selkadoom. You're so delusional you would never acknowledge them as so. You see them as bugs that deserve to be stepped on by your boots. Instead of people that are equal, People who deserve protection and safety. You're not even listening. They're just gonna turn on each other in the end. So why bother? <sighs> Every time After I have all, to converse with you. What? After all, worms will always be worms. No matter how much you try to describe them in a different light. You don't know their place. In this multiverse. <laughs> Similar to how you didn't know your place. And when Sonic and Shadow tried to stop you, you cheated. And you built yourself up into something to hide what you truly are. Just a lowly abomination made from a megalomaniac's desire to defeat heroes that could never be taken down. That's the one that pretty much and her tribe that tried to achieve something far greater to understand and basically try to control something that are beyond their control when it comes to the Master Emerald and Chaos. Remind you of somebody or a certain particular era. Face it, Decal, you're not perfect. I don't claim to be. And don't you lie to me about what happened! It was my father's fault, and I'm nothing like him. Quit trying to get into my head, Selkadoom. Drive. And your father did a lot of questionable things. They tried to control it. And look what that lead them. Total destruction. You know, I bet if you ascended at that time, you would have reveled in it. Heck, I bet you would have caused something that would have made it happen. 
I see what you're doing. No one is perfect, and neither are you. Confusion. And I'm a god, so... Or is there more perfect than that? <sighs> You'll never understand. <sighs> One thing I know you won't throw a hissy fit over, though, is keeping an eye on all the cores that have passed on. <sighs> oh, sweet mother of chaos, this is gonna be so boring. Like it or not, this is what we do. Maybe you should have thought of that before you tried to ascend to godhood. You are lucky that the beings above us have such a neutral view that they refuse to cast you out. But... They love me. They don't take sides. They won't take mine. And they sure as heck won't take yours. Now if we can just remain cordial... For the time being, we must keep an eye on all the cores. Make sure that everyone is at peace. That shouldn't be too much of a task for such a godly being as yourself. You sure already know, Tikal. Peace is not my thing. Hmm. Well, consider this your chore for the day. Fine. <sighs> yes. I'm gonna be bored. Oh, stop complaining. You'll be able to bathe by a fountain and just relax and do whatever it is you do as you revel in the thoughts of ending another planet. Which, by the way, I won't hesitate to stop. Because, like you said, destruction and peace have to exist as one. One cannot live without the other. So anything you do, I, as well as many other heroes, will combat it. So keep thinking your fantasies. Just know that as long as we're around, they will never come true. So keep those dirty little thoughts in your head. Better be careful if I don't bite your finger off. Hmm. And be careful I don't blind you with my magic. Now let's go. We have work to do. And don't laze around. Come on. 